is the Colossae. These are the face products I'm gonna use. So I might be going to Florida. I might, I don't know. The only thing is with me is I, I have no idea how to travel. So. But the only reason I actually do laundry is because I run out of socks. I don't know where the frick they're all going, but they're gone. My boyfriend and I are hitting three years. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is so cute. So, so I quit my job two weeks ago and I never would have thought I would have quit my job. Like I feel like, you know, kind of weird doing this, but also like I can feel God trying to pull me another direction. As weird as it is for me to say, like this whole social media thing has changed, not really changed my life, but like I feel more of a purpose than ever before. My boyfriend got me more flowers um, and my other flowers from last week have not died yet. Listen, I'm not mad about it. I love flowers. I love getting them. I've been using this this verse dark spot and I'm trying to get rid of this little I don't know if you can see it but it's like this little spot right here I notice it's working because this spot used to be very very dark I'm just gonna put it under my eyes and see if it does anything these are the face products I'm gonna use nothing special here I would love like a spray sunscreen you know what I mean because I would love just to keep it in my purse and like spray it but I, if you guys know of any, let me know. For hair, it is literally like a rat's nest. Look at this. I do need to go get a haircut. Um, I might do that this week when I bring you guys along. This kind of dealio, kind of like my gym hair. Do it like that, throw in a bunch of jewelry. Look, my biceps they are getting big. I'm not doing makeup today, so let's just go get our clothes on. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but my eyebrows are like sisters, cousins, long distance cousins. I have to trust somebody, okay? I want them to like shape my eyebrows so they're the same, okay? Cause I, you know, pretty good eyebrows, but I need them to be like more of the same and they're not, okay? So that's the goal. This is the Colossae. I feel like I'm starving. I'm really hungry. I think I should, no, pick something out. Okay, um, I'm gonna do this pink shirt that has water stains all over it because spilled something on it earlier and then jeans from Hollister for jewelry I'm just gonna do this pray first pray first necklace do we want to do these or a hoop I'm always for hoop guys I feel so good I'm not rushed or anything that's so that sounds so pretty right Amber vanilla from dossier add a little bit of blush just like a little bit I feel like I have no color on my face right now. Curl my eyelashes a little bit. And I know people think this is like, you shouldn't, but I don't care. So I might be going to Florida. I might, I don't know. We're still, we're still thinking about it. The only thing is with me is I, I have no idea how to travel. So I'm blind right now. I cannot see. Okay, so that's the look. Gotta drink my water. Mm-hmm. Guys, I'm starving. Should I eat something? What shall I eat? I'm gonna eat some of these Trader Joe waffles real quick before I leave. This is my waffle sandwich. Doing these booty shoes. These shoes are from Forever 21 and they're like my go-to shoes. Okay, let's go to church. Just change back into some comfy shorts. It's 12.45 and then I'm just gonna read a little in John because I did not do that this morning. Have some quality time and yeah. Just made me a little snack before I go to the gym. My stomach is growling. You guys be proud of me. I didn't, I didn't eat out after. <laughs> I didn't eat out after because I was like, okay, girl, get your life together, okay? So yeah, I'm just gonna start there is what the crap anyways 
It's literally an egg, cheese, and sourdough. So I'm gonna do this and then go hit the gym. Okay, I'm back from the gym now and I didn't record any of it just because I just wanna get in there, get out, didn't wanna, you know, make a fuss with anything. But I just did, I think, like two and a half miles walking, did some upper body, a little bit of lower body, and that was it. Just wanted to get up and move a little bit. But it is super nice out, it's like 70, and I really wanna go on a walk, but I can't because I gotta get work done. So I am going to clean up a little bit and then, um, and then we're gonna talk, we're gonna chat. stand is a dirty kitchen. Literally freaks me out. And then after that I just go with this antibacterial method spray. I really like this spray. It doesn't stink. It smells like spearmint gum. And then I have cleaning paper towels that I get at Walmart but literally only have that many left. And then I have regular paper towels. These are my diva. These are the good paper towels. Okay, these are the cleaning paper towels. They're like 58 cents. But yeah, I'm just gonna like wipe down the counters and disinfect. I do laundry like once a week, typically. But the only reason I actually do laundry is because I run out of socks. I don't know where the frick they're all going, but they're gone. I started using this borax stuff in my clothes and I've noticed it's helped with the smell. Especially with like all my gym clothes, they stink so bad. Okay, this is my bathroom, but the shower curtain I have, disgusting. It's yellow and the water one doesn't even touch. So it's literally been, water's been getting all over the ground. And I've been way too lazy to change it, but we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right now. I'm gonna change. So I just got like new ones from Walmart. Take this one down. I'm gonna go throw this away. And I got the extra long heavyweight shower curtain. This was 78 inches. And then look how cute this one is. It's just like a beige, beige one. Ooh. It's kind of what it looks like now. It's more of like a cream color than the white. I like it. I mean, I don't love it, but. It's so cute. Okay, I got a couple packages in, and <clears throat> I don't know about you, but I love walk watching people's packages. So the first one is from Hazel and Lane. If you guys know Brittany Dawn, this is like her clothing company, so she sent me something. I'm gonna open it up. Oh, snap, girl. This is so cute. I love it. This is really cute with some booties. And I got this in a size small, but it's very, it seems very flexible. So that is the first thing. And then, oh my gosh, guys, this is so cute. So it's like the same thing, a sweater dress, but it has kind of like a, like a little bit of a lower cut. This is super cute. Oh, I love this. Second thing is from Hard Candy. And guys, these are not sponsored. They, this is just some really cool stuff. And I'll always be grateful for, you know, free stuff. How the heck can you not be grateful for free stuff? So this is hard candy and Girl Scouts like collab together. Let's open it. This is neat. Now this is what it looks like. <laughs> this thing. Oh, there's stuff in it. Oh my. Holy crap. I saw all this makeup. You know what's crazy? I've been using the same makeup since I was like 18, 19 years old. So uh, I should probably, ooh. Okay, I see. So like all of the makeup on here is like, Girl Scout theme. So this one is like dark chocolate cookie butter. It's a mascara, it's a brown mascara. Um, some eyeshadows, lip repair oils. That's really cool. Wow, that's exciting. Thanks, guys. I feel really cool and special. Okay, and then 
this is something I ordered from Amazon. My boyfriend and I are hitting three years. How crazy is that? And every year I get him, I make him a photo album because like, we're not really materialistic people by any means, like by any means. If there's something he really wants, I'll get it for him for his birthday, which is coming up. But for like our anniversary, we're actually going to go down to like Indy and like go to Top Golf and go to this place called Melting Pot. But anyways, um, I always get him a scrapbook and I go like all out in it, but like I kind of make it like, not like childish, but I use like stickers and markers and like every photo on every page, I write like something. But this is what it looks like. So this is for year three. It says you and me. I got it on Amazon and then they sent this in it. I'm gonna put this in there. It says once in a while in the middle of an ordinary life, love gives us a fairy tale. <laughs> That's so cute. Don't ask me, when is he gonna get married you? First of all, how the heck would I know that? Okay. Second of all, um, everyone's always up in my business about that. Mind your beans or go ask God himself, okay? Because guess what? I don't know. And uh, do I think it's soon? Yeah. <laughs> so last thing I want to talk about in this vlog is kind of just like where I'm at, where I am at in life. And I just want to be like open, honest, some unfiltered talk kind of thing. So I quit my job two weeks ago and I never would have thought I would have quit my job. Like I feel like, you know, kind of weird doing this, but also like I can feel God trying to pull me another direction. As weird as it is for me to say, like this whole social media thing has change might not really change my life but like I feel more of a purpose than ever before mind you like from high school which I barely graduated um I went straight into factory work working 12 hours 10 hour shifts third shift worked in trailer factory you know and you're treating like an animal you're not a human there okay. my mental health was declining I I literally was like is this it $20 an hour and I'm suffering I can't even pay my bills like in I live on my own so you guys know rent is just crazy and just all the other bills i quit that and then i went to serving right and i love serving i really did i served at texas roadhouse for like a year and a half and i was like oh this is perfect like i'm actually make way more money than when i worked in factory and not only that i actually only work freaking five six hours a day and like i actually had time to go do stuff but um, because all the money's on the weekend, I always work the weekends and then like, you know, there was just all this other stuff. And plus I was also doing social media, um, you know, like content creation, just like I've always done social media, right? Like it's always been something I've really enjoyed because when I was growing up, I always looked at, looked up to like influencers and social media people, because I do believe social media can be a very powerful thing. How do I put this? Like, yes, there's like leading people to Christ with it, but there's also just like, you know, being a good influence in this world, but obviously that is through Christ. But what I'm trying to say is, you know, it's something I've always wanted to do, truly. It's something I always wanted to do, but I never, like, you know, you just don't, you know, you don't think it's gonna happen. Felt guilty for like leaving, um, for wanting to leave my real job. But the thing is though, I realized that like, God has been blessing me, yes, financially, because social media, there is an income. You know, I'm not just gonna like quit my job if there wasn't like some type of income to, but God has provided. So when I finally was like, you know what, God, if this is what you want me to do, like I need that to be known to so quit my job. Um, it was more of like a quit, kind of not show up. I'm not gonna lie. Cause I was already like barely working there at this point because I've been doing this so much. But like, I'm doing something I truly enjoy and something I already did before, except God is blessing it now financially. And that's where I have to be like, okay, God, like if this is what you want me to do in this season, maybe it's only for a couple years, maybe it's for a year. I don't know. I don't know, but I will be okay if that is what it is. If there is a timeline, God needs me to be here, you know, in on the internet, you know, being a big sister to people who don't have any. It was like last Thursday when I was a young adult and I was just like so grateful for the friendships that I have and like that I'm able to like have this group of people that I prayed for because I didn't have friends for a very long time once I became a Christian. And truly like I was getting really lonely because I was like, okay, like I literally live by myself. I go to work, I come back, I'm home for an hour, you know, after I sleep and then that's it. Like I don't have anyone to go to. I don't have any mentors. Like I was just feeling kind of like, you know, lonely, whatever, but it just made me so appreciative of where God has allowed me to have these friends, right? And I came home Thursday and I was like, just sitting on my bed, sitting right here and I was just very still and I was like, 
I'm one, you know, ever since I quit my job, I've been very like, um, I don't know if it's the enemy or just like, you know, being a human and being like, okay, was that, was that what I was supposed to do? And I kind of just felt God literally say, and I wrote it down. Like, it's weird because I've never had God audibly speak to me, but like I had this, um, this sentence literally just, whoo, just popped in my head and it said, for the people who don't have something like this to go to, that's who I want you to be. Like the young adults, the people who don't have like, you know, someone to look up to or someone to like influence them or, you know, just like good company to be around. And like, that's who I want you to be. And I'm like, okay, like, and I'm supposed to be that anyway, but like the internet is such a dark, dark place, but it doesn't have to be. And you know, the Bible says we're supposed to be salt and light of the earth. Okay. So that's what I'm going to be. And I'm just going to do that. And that's kind of my plan right now. And, you know, I, I just am very grateful for the community we have on here. YouTube is something I've always wanted to do. Like, I think it sounds like conceited when you just say, oh, I don't know how to put this in the right words. But for me personally, I felt kind of like selfish just to be like, oh, record my life and like make money from it. No, no, no. It's not that. That's not the intention. Like, I think it's really cool that God has allowed me to not work as much, right? And not to be in like toxic environments like factory and, you know, serving is <laughs> it's rough. Okay. Some days are really rough, but God has allowed me to have this freedom in with all this free time, free time. I'm literally not stop like thinking of ideas and like filming and editing, but like, it's not hard if that makes sense. It is time consuming. But with that, I can make my own schedule and I have been able to be with my family more. I've, um, me and my boyfriend are able to spend more time together because we used to only be able to spend one day out of the week together. Um, I'm able to volunteer more and that's something I do want to be able to do more is just like, like go to volunteer, go on mission trips. Never done that before. And now I have two opportunities already this year to go on mission trips. Um, I'm actually going to be at Motion. I'm, so that's in like June. So if you guys are going to Motion, I will be there. So like, before I would have to say no because I'm like no I work the weekends like I have to pay my bills like you know and God has allowed me to do this so this is what this the season I'm in I, I I'm just gonna trust God and you know whether he wants me to go back into the you know the work world your typical work world that's okay I'm still gonna do this because this is what I enjoy doing you know so that's kind of where I'm at in life I do get questions all the time about this stuff but um yeah I just want to give you guys a little update and I am very thankful for the community we have on here and how kind and um, uplifting people are. Because that's definitely what I want to do. I just want to like bring you along. Lord willing, I would love to travel more and just do like, you know, fun stuff and just take you guys along with me or just like have sit down chat videos. Mm -hmm, okay. But like, just know whatever this brings, it's going to be, it's going to be brought back to God. So whatever this is, it's because of God and because of that, it will be given back to him. So, you know, if we want to talk financially, if we want to talk about the the platform itself, I want God to use me, okay? Bring heaven on earth through me, you know? I mean, I know it's through Jesus, but like through me, like I want to be the hands and feet. So, you know, if God gives me opportunities financially or um, just like volunteering or whatever, like, and I'm able to use my platform to just like, you know, be an example, so be it. And also, I don't want my platform just to be for Christians, you know? Like, I want everyone to come in. That's why, like, you'll see, like, not every video will be, like, super spiritual or whatever because, you know, I don't wake up every second of my day, you know, doing that. Yes, I'm a Christian, but, like, I'm also able to enjoy other things, and so are you. So, you know, that's something I really want to, you know, just do. I just want to film. I just want to, you know... Have a good time with y'all. But anyways, guys, that is basically it for today's vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye!